Suva, capital of South Sea Paradise, Fiji. Here, the crew of research vessel Falkor is preparing for the next cruise, which is about to start today. The purpose of our virtual events cruise to the Niwa South Volcano is to digitally recreate a black smoker hydrothermal field in its entirety for the first time. We ourselves cannot get down 1400 meters to the seafloor, but we can bring our robots and they can carry our minds down to the seafloor. These cameras allow us to look around in any direction and we are using head-mounted display technology to move our heads freely as we would on land. We're on our way in the South Pacific and the destination of our expedition is a volcano called Nihua and that is situated between Fiji, Samoa and Tonga. So what we're looking at here is the, uh, our, our specific uh, research area, which is the Niua Volcano. Here we are, Australia and New Zealand. This is the uh, Pacific Plate, the Indo-Australian Plate. And here is that boundary, tectonic boundary, between the two plates. And again, there's Fiji. And our working area, the Niua Volcano, is right up in there. At this particular location, in fact, it's the fastest rate at which the Pacific Plate is colliding with the Indo-Australian Plate. So this creates an environment that is very uh, active, in fact, more so than just about anywhere else in the oceans uh, today. This is the volcano uh, crater. It's about 500 meters across. And in here, you can see that uh, there's some pinnacles in here. These are the hydrothermal vents that we will be going and uh, collecting samples from rock samples, fluid samples, and, uh, and biological samples. So once we've reached our survey area, we will lower the ROV down to the bottom of the seafloor. That's 1,400 meters down at that place and we will have a three-tiered approach to surveying this area. First, we will run a couple of sparse tracks back and forth to see what the place is like. Second, we will have a lawnmower pattern, track next to track, of very dense surveying. But since very steep areas around the chimneys and the crater walls are a bit harder to do, we will go in a third time concentrate only on these areas to make really sure we leave absolutely no gaps and have the entire survey area covered. One of the things that we expect to find um, uh, is what is the relationship between the tectonic processes and the hydrothermal activity which is why many other people are here to look at the uh, uh, or animals that live at the hydrothermal deep sea hydrothermal vents my name is amy gartman i am a geochemist and on this cruise i'll be doing water geochemistry and particle geochemistry uh, i'll be using these major samplers and collecting high temperature black smoke and then uh, we'll be processing it um, in a bunch of different ways. We'll be looking at uh, metal and sulfide content and uh, the acidity of the fluid and the type and amount of particles that are in the fluid. I'm Rachel Boshan, I'm a deep sea biologist and on this cruise I aim to characterize the animals living at the deep sea vents that we're going to. It's only the second time that people have ever been to these vents, so we think we know what's there, but there's a good chance for new species. <laughs> so on the ship, I'll be preserving all of the animals we collect. I'll be taking subsamples for genetic analysis, so people can look into how connected different populations of the same species are, and also to help identify what the species are. This is only my third research cruise, and it's my first trip with using a remotely operated vehicle, so I'm very excited of being able to use this incredible technology and being able to transmit it to people around the world in real time. That's really, really, really cool. 